I honor and acknowledge your victory and your service. Thank you. Buana Sifiwe. Yeah, my name is Anikodema Zakech Ishmael. This is my second Sunday being here. And I want to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Uh, there is a journey I've taken from the year 2014 when I started my PhD at Jaramo Gyoginko Dinga University of Science and Technology. Mama gave me that testimony here. The trouble started in 2018 when I was lecturing at the Kabarak University. My dean, Dr. Maganga, saw that I had done the mock defense. I was just a year to completion and he brought war in my life. That war made me appear before the university council, disciplinary council, for things I've never done. I've always observed my work, I've always taught with diligence, but I'm being told in January, January 2016, there is a unit you didn't teach, but I had the results. And so when I went to the disciplinary council on 30th of January 2018, that is the day I resigned my work from Kabarak. I didn't know where I was going to. I was jobless with children. Victor, stand up. This is my acting last born. <laughs> sit down, sit down. This is my son, and I love him so much. When I told him we are going to church where there is victory, he followed me. Amen. He's in Form 2, he's a Form 2 student, and he's doing very well, extremely well. Maths, he gets 90s, but other subjects, he's not doing well. So I decided, because he's going to school on Wednesday, I come with him so that my mom can pray for him. Amen. So as I resigned, that was not the end of the trouble. I have no money even to print six copies to take for uh, the university requirement. I've lived a life that God gave me another job at the Catholic University 20, uh, 2021. But I've had an issue with my elder brother. Maybe when I sit with mom, she will tell me about him. Whenever he calls me, I don't call him, but he's the one who educated me from one to from six. Whenever he calls me, he has to ask me, when are you finishing your PhD? I have other siblings, they have never asked me that. We met physically uh, on 18th of July, at home when we had gone to sign documents for the Shamba, my dad's land, and he also asked me the same. I had not joined this church, but I told him I'm finishing my PhD in August. But last week is when mom told me about it, and she told me I'm graduating in December. Glory to God. Now, to go faster, mom told me about my marriage that is crumpled. I've had two wives, but now I have no wife. My, wa my second wife, the mother to Victor, she left me 2018. 2018, uh, March 18th, she packed and left. My first wife I married via wedding. She's still at home, but I've filed for divorce. Because when this son was three weeks old, that is the last time I slept in my bed, 2008, up to now. So there's no marriage there. So when mom told me about that and she told me, I can see you are dating another lady, I told her, yes, I have a lady I'm dating, and I love her. And she told me about the altar in their home, I called her on Monday, and we had a lengthy chat, and she told me what kind of altar the grandfather brought in their home. And so we are planning for her to come here, and I know victory is on the way. Amen. Another thing before I bore you down, mom told me about my manpower. It had been stolen. Believe me or not, the same night on 20th, I reclaimed my power and it's with me. Amen. It is with me now. And I glorify God for this ministry. Last but not least, last but not least, 
I worked for Telecom Kenya from a technician to a manager to 1989 up to 2009. 19 years, 10 months. And they underpaid us our pension. They paid us 40%. They hid 60%. We have had a court case going on for the last 14 years, but thank God on 16th of this month, the court decided that we must be paid. And so I glorify God for that. And I tell you who, who, has, who has come here and you have that doubting spirit that this is the right place to be. Thank you, Mama and Baba. Amen. I appreciate the Lord for that. Thank you. Thank you so much.